It's no secret that people really like to play games on their phone. So I wondered, what is the experience of playing games on the Pine phone like? Well, using operating systems like Mobian and Arch and other similar, more traditional Linux distributions like that, your options for playing games are a little bit limited, especially with the touchscreen. Most of the GNOME games package works, so that gives you simple games like Chess, Minesweeper, 2048, and other games like that. However, if you move over to Selfish OS or Ubuntu Touch, well suddenly the gaming situation gets a lot more interesting because both of these platforms actually have quite a strong library of games. Nowhere near what you get with Android, but still a very impressive library of games. So for today's video, I've gone ahead and installed Ubuntu Touch on my Pine phone, as you can see, and we're going to go ahead and try out some games. Now, I've gone ahead and installed a few games, a few of my favourites, as well as a few others that I wanted to go ahead and try out. I've got 2048, Tux Racer, Snowball World, Machines vs Machines, a Game Boy Color emulator called Gear Boy Color, and Mines, which is a Minesweeper style game. So, first we're going to start with the games that don't work. First up we've got Tux Racer, which a lot of people are going to know what Tux Racer is from the Linux desktop. It's a really, really great 3D Tux game. So let's just go ahead and launch it. And as you can see, it's not going to work. Which I knew that that would happen because the description for this app actually explicitly says that it does not work on the Pine phone. But it's a shame because I would have liked to have played such a classic Linux game on the Pine phone. Now moving on we have a game that I actually didn't know that it wasn't going to work. And that's one of my personal favourite games called Snowball World. Now what this is, is it's a platform style game with an interesting gameplay mechanic where you tap the screen to turn the character one way or the other. And it's one of the best games for Ubuntu Touch easily. But unfortunately, it tries to launch, rotates the screen, but it doesn't seem to work on the Pine phone, which is quite a shame. But now, with that said, let's try some games that do work. So, starting with a simple one, we've got Mines, which is a Minesweeper style game. Now, I do love a good bit of Minesweeper, and I daily drive a Mobian, and that has a Minesweeper style game available, and it works really, really well. This one also works very well. As you can see, you can flag mines just fine, but it's a simple game, so you would kind of expect that to work, but as you can see, it works perfectly. So if we keep going, let's try out another quite simple game, 2048. Now, I've been absolutely addicted to this game. It's absolutely brilliant fun, and it's a great time waster, and as you can see, it works absolutely fine here on the Pine phone. And like I say, you can run the GNOME version of this game as well if you're running something like Mobian, which is what I do, and it's absolutely brilliant, and it's actually probably better than the Ubuntu Touch version of the game, but this one works fine as well. So as you can see, you can play this game on the Pine phone as well. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Another thing that we've got is a more complex game, which is Machines versus Machines. Now if we go ahead and launch that, essentially what this is, is it's a 2D game, which is basically a tower defense style game. And I've got to say, it's great fun. And I remember playing this on my Nexus 5 and absolutely loving it. Now, it seems to launch fine. I don't know if that top bar should be there. I certainly don't remember it from running it on my Nexus 5, but it doesn't impact the playability of the game at all. So if we go ahead and launch the game, you can see that it works absolutely fine. Let's go ahead and just kind of play it a little bit now. I seem to remember this game having a soundtrack, which doesn't seem to be playing, but that's no big complaint. The game still plays absolutely fine, and this is a great time waster. You can slow down the game, speed it up. It's just generally a fantastic game, but it is quite difficult, I must warn you. So let's go ahead and close out of that. If you have a Pine phone running a boot to touch, I highly recommend Machines vs. Machines. And then finally, we have an emulator. I was slightly curious as to how this would work, and the answer is, it's okay. It has a few issues here and there, like for instance, it does stutter a little bit, but you could totally play some Game Boy games on your Pine phone. Now this is an emulator called Gear Boy Color, and it will do Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulation. So let's go ahead and start this now. You can see even the sound works, the graphics and stuff work fine. The touchscreen controls work pretty well too. You might see it stutter a bit here and there, but as a whole, this is a totally play experience, just not through my camera's viewfinder. So now we've tested that out, let's go ahead and try out a Game Boy Color game. Now as you can see, this works pretty well too, so you can go ahead and play a bit of Pokemon on your Pine phone. 
which, hey, if it's got Pokemon, it's clearly a worthwhile device. The only one problem that I've had with this particular emulator is when you turn it to landscape mode, sometimes the screen will rapidly flash. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that. Now, I should probably warn anyone who's sensitive to flashing lights to maybe quit the video here. I'm gonna try and do some editing in post to make it less harsh, and there's, of course, always the chance that it won't do it this time, but just be warned. So let's go ahead and turn it around and I'll show you what happens. As you can see, yeah, that's pretty bad. So let's go ahead and turn this back around. And we've just got a completely black screen when going back to portrait mode. And with that said, that's gaming on the Pine phone using Ubuntu Touch. It's not perfect. Well, gaming on Ubuntu Touch was never really perfect to begin with because there's just not the sheer library of games that you get on Android. But with that said, I still think that the Nexus 5 is still ahead of the Pine phone in terms of gaming, as you can imagine, because the Nexus 5 has access to games like Tux Racer and Snowball World. But given where the Pine phone is at at the moment, I think the gaming experience is rather impressive. So with that said, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I will see you in the next one.